Today's video is going to be a review for um, an Urban Decay launch that just came out not too long ago and I was actually passing by Sephora and JCPenney when I saw um, this particular launch so I was really really interested um, just based off packaging and you guys will see in a second when I show you guys the product but um, I just want to say happy Sunday to everyone happy Mother's Day to all my beautiful mothers out there you guys celebrating today make sure that you um, cherish your mom because you know moms are like so special I am a mother myself so um, I did have a wonderful day today with my mom as well as my daughter but um, I just want to take the chance to just speak to you guys, um, my followers, as well as my family. You guys, I love you so much. So thank you so much for your support. And I hope that you guys had a wonderful Sunday. And if you are, in fact, a mother on my channel, I want to say a special Happy Mother's Day to you. I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that it was really, really special. Okay? So let's get into why we are here because I don't want to make this video long at all. I'm actually going to edit and post it tonight so that you guys can have a little video for Sunday night, okay? So this is the um, product I'm reviewing today. It is the Jean-Paul Besquet or Besquat um, collection from Urban Decay. And I have everything but the lipsticks, you guys. I was not interested in the lipsticks. I was more so interested in... Oh my god. I was more so interested in all three of these. So these three are eyeliners. This is blush, highlight, bronzer, and then this is the eyeshadow palette. So let's get into it. Um, so let's just first talk about the actual collaboration um, of like the collaboration designer that Urban Decay collabed with. So this I'm reading on the back. His creativity um, knew no limits. A pioneer of the neo-expressionist movement, he quickly rose to fame on the 80s art scene in New York City. His iconic paintings and drawings are still exhibited all over the world. Um, and then it just talks about the actual product and everything. And just so you guys know, the artist is black, which is another reason why I was really interested in getting this because I'm going to be quite frank and honest with you guys. I know not there one motherfucking fact about this man, but I'm definitely going to be getting on my research and learning about him. And I will definitely take it upon you guys to also further research him. I'm sure that you guys are like, you know, I'm going to pull your black card because bitch, you don't fucking know about this man. But I'm just being real, I don't know about him. But, now I will know, okay? Knowledge is power. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to review first is the actual blush palette. We're going to do the eyeshadow and then we'll get to the eyeliners, okay? So, what I'm going to say first is the fucking packaging is fucking A1 on this shit. What the fuck? Like, I've never seen anything like this. And, I mean, I this is my first Urban Decay review on my channel, so... Shout out to Urban Decay. So let's just take a look at this absolutely intricate, very detailed packaging. Um, it has art all the way on the inside of the packaging. And then on the outside, it has like a canvas feel to it, which is very, very, I, I mean, y'all hit it on the mark with this packaging. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then um, on the back, it has like this little thing here where I feel like you can like hang it like it's like a little art piece um, like canvas so you can like hang it up and have it as like an art piece so I think that's really really cool so shout out to Urban Decay you guys this is absolutely amazing I'm sure that this crown has a symbol and I don't know anything of like a, like you guys I mean I, I don't know anything about this I feel really bad doing this but I mean this is just fucking what is what it is um, <laughs> and then it also has a little crown down here as well as a um, symbolic emblem and then you open it up and it's like magnetic so the packaging is really really sturdy um it's again like the same type of feeling as the outer packaging it has like a canvas feel to it and then you open it up and it has a mirror so i'm going to cover the mirror but here is oh my god and my, my nail just stabbed the bronzer but this is the bronzer, blush, and highlighter palette, okay? So there's four colors in here, X-rated, um, Now's the Time, NoHo, and Jawbone. So what I'm going to do is just swatch first Jawbone for you guys. And these feel so powdery. This could also be a nice blush as well. 
So that's Jawbone right here. These are so silky and like so powdery. They feel so good. So next is the lighter pink blush. This is X-rated right here. So that probably won't show up too well on me. Next is NoHo, which is the other darker pink blush. So that one's there. All right. And then the last color is um, Now's the Time, which is the highlighter. And I'm going to put the highlighter. Ooh, yes. Ooh, you see that? Oh, my God, yes. Ooh, that is beautiful. So the highlighter is right next to Jawbone, which is the contour bronzer color. Absolutely gorgeous. The pigmentation is the bomb. Um, it is a little, I don't want to say chalky maybe from my fingers, but um, the highlighter is gorgeous right there. Yeah. Give me that towel over there. Me too. The towel up there. Right there. You need to, um, are you inside because you need to come in? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so next you guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette has the same exact, like, um, little uh, introduction to who um, John Michael is. And then it also just kind of at the bottom gives it, um, gives you the um, same thing in Spanish as well. And basically, it also talks about um, the actual product itself, so um, what the sh eyeshadow, like the, it's housed in and all that good stuff. Um, it's a special limited edition of eight exclusive bright um, colors inspired by his paintings, plus a double-ended brush when you're done with the shadows. Use the hangover display, um, the hanger as a display on your wall. So like I was telling you guys, how it has like the little... Um, the little thing in the back to hang it which I think is so creative right here and the packaging again a freaking one like the designs on here are absolutely amazing I'm so glad that I got my hands on this stuff um there you guys go I love like the paintings on there or it's it's a one like a one packaging a one packaging and then let me just show you the packaging for the shadow for the outer part so you it's kind of hard to see but there's like designs all in the inside of here it's like designed all the way inside and then on the outer like packaging all the like all the way yes <laughs> sorry you guys that's Kennedy <laughs> so all the way inside and out okay so let's get to the shadow because the shadow palette is what like Whoa. sent me through the entire roof okay oh my god my face is funny so Sorry. <laughs> so there are eight colors in here, you guys, and this is what the palette looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you guys know Urban Decay. I have the electric palette, so you know that these brights are about to be sha popping, and I cannot wait to swatch them for you guys. I have not swatched them yet. And then you also get the double ended brush in here, and then you also get a really nice mirror as well. And again, the crown is on there with the crown emblem, and I really believe that this little thing is a symbol for him, and I'm going to research it and let you guys know. I may even put something in the description box to give you more information about it, okay? Please watch that, honey. I don't want you to mess it up. Put it, up, put it on the end of the bed. Okay, so there's eight colors going from here over. So starting from the right... Here are Studio 1960 Neo, Lace, Graffiti, Exu, Boom, and Untitled, okay? So those are all the colors there for you guys, so let's get the swatch in. So Studio is going to be a nice matte transition color for this particular um, palette. And what I am going to do is swatch it on the inner part of my arm. So, that first one there is um, Studio, okay? So, the next one is 1960. Oh, that's pretty. So, 1960 is like a nice, bright, matte pink color. Looks like that. Next is Neo. 
And Neo is a pretty dark purple. I'm gonna swatch this again because against my tattoos, it's kind of hard to see. All right, so that is Neo. So next is Lace, L-E-S. And this is a matte black. And you guys know that Urban Decay is famous for their blackout, black matte. All right, so that's what that one looks like. It's called Lace. All right, so next is Graffiti, which is a beautiful dark green color. And that one is right there, right next to Lace. So it looks like that. So next is Exu. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So it's like a bright lime green color. Alright, so that one is there. Okay, so the next is called Boom. Pass me the, um... Yeah. Thanks, baby. All right, you guys. So next is Boom, and Boom is like a pretty ocean blue greenish color. Absolutely gorgeous. I wish the ocean was that color. Me too. There is oceans that are that color. We have to go there. So that color is called Boom, right there. And then the last color is called Untitled, which is a beautiful like cobalt blue. Absolutely gorgeous. OMG. That's pretty. It is beautiful. And that's the last one there on the end. So you guys see the pigmentation is like crazy. And these shadows are so like soft and cashmere like. They're absolutely gorgeous, okay? So those are all eight colors in the shadow palette. Again, um, this, the name of the shadow palette is called Tenet, I think. Tenet Eyeshadow Palette. That's what it's called. All right, you guys, so let's get into the liners. Pass me the towel. All right, so last but not least, we have the 24-7 um, Glide-On Pencils. So three colors here. I love the color selection. Absolutely gorgeous. Goes really, really well with the shadow palette. So we'll start with the darkest one first. And this packaging is a little bit different. It has the solid color of the actual liner corresponding to the outside. And then on the inside, it does have like some intricate designs. You can't really see it on camera. But if you do happen to purchase the liner or get it um, from some other avenue, <laughs> then you will see how it has the um, design on the inside. Okay? So the first one, and I own a lot of these pencils, and they're absolutely amazing. So the first pencil is called Anatomy. And it is like this sienna brown color and I mean it glides on like butter so that's the first one there beautiful beautiful brown I would even put this in my eye I mean not my eye I would use this as my lip liner alright so next is the color vivid color what? vivid, vivid? Vivid. Oh, Vivid. <laughs> so Vivid is like a beautiful turquoise blue color. Looks like that. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then the last color in this trio is, probably like a light is called Post Punk. And this one's not as bright as I was uh, anticipating, it, it honestly. But it's bright. 
it's right there, okay? Post Vivid. I mean, Post Vivid. Post Punk. Not as bright as I thought it would be, but it definitely does uh, work. My favorite out of the three is the first one, the Sienna Brown color. This one? The, um, the, um... Anatomy. So that is it for this collection, you guys. Um, overall, 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 um, I would rate what the the things that I got um, as a B. I feel like some of the stuff isn't as pigmented as they should be, especially like the blushes um, and the bronzers. I don't feel like they're as pigmented as I would have liked them to be. But hey, you know that's all in the world of makeup. The eyeshadow palette is definitely a must-have. So. If you're eyeing the eyeshadow palette, I would definitely get the eyeshadow palette. And then the Anatomy Liner is absolutely gorgeous. The Anatomy Pencil is um, absolutely gorgeous, so I would definitely pick that up. Um, and then, you know, the other stuff is is optional. I mean, I didn't really want to get the lipsticks. The lipsticks have, like, a, a cardboard, um, like, outer shell to them, like the casing for the lipstick. So... Um, it's very, very different, very artsy, very artistic. So if you're a painter, um, if you're into like arts, then I would definitely invest in this. This is probably um, something that's more up your alley. Uh, if you're really like into the 80s, um, like very um, avant-garde art, then I would definitely say that this would be for you as well, you guys. So... Anyways, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for joining me here on my channel today to review this Urban Decay limited edition release. Make sure you guys pick it up at your local Sephora as well as your Sephora and JCPenney. Um, I believe it is also available in Ulta as well. So, you guys, I hope that you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, and I will see you all. And have in, a happy Mother's Day. And have a happy and Mother's Day. And subscribe and like and, and to do the notifications. Yes, and do the notification, you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.